Good day. I am astrologer Letitia Hinton with Soul Spread Wisdom. And today I am continuing on uh, my series, or this is the last one, on my uh, Venus through the signs in the natal chart. And so today we will be discussing Venus and the sign of Aquarius. So I use the um, traditional rulership of the signs as opposed to the modern rulership. So the modern rulership um, takes away the rulership of uh, Saturn and gives it to Aquarius. But the ancients, including the ancient Egyptians, the Hellenistic astrologers, medieval astrologers, for thousands and thousands of years, um, understood that Saturn was um, and is the ruler of Aquarius. So this is Saturn's masculine air sign. So uh, Capricorn is Saturn's uh, feminine earth sign. And um, Aquarius takes on a different flavor of Saturn, but you can see Saturn uh, in the sign of Aquarius. And so when we uh, look to the sign of Aquarius and Saturn's rulership of it, we see Saturn's energy by way of the fact that Aquarius uh, is a sign that is separated from the pack. It is uh, separated by way of thinking because Aquarius is a very mental sign. It is an air sign and the, the uh, symbology of uh, Aquarius is uh, the man. It is the man. But we see a divide in Aquarius through the glyph. You know, the, the two waves signifying there is a separation within the sign of Aquarius. And so... You know, uh, we understand that um, people with strong Aquarian energy are people who um, are not willing to just run with the pack and do what it is that everyone else is doing. They they like to um, or they will not necessarily like to, but this energy shows up in a way that uh, there is a non-traditional way of of thinking as it were uh it, it's on the the outskirts you know so Saturn's energy uh, uh separates and it brings blockages and it brings walls and it brings um endings and it brings isolation uh, all of these are key words for for Saturn uh, it represents the people who are on the edge or the fringes of society and societal norms. So we need to understand that first before we can talk about how Venus, uh, the goddess of love, operates in the sign of Aquarius. So that that very nature of being on the on the fringe and the outskirts uh, shows up when Venus is also in the sign of Aquarius. So, uh, Aquarius is a fixed sign. So that's when we look at, uh, Gemini, uh, and Libra, uh, the other air signs, we can see, uh, the difference in Aquarius in that it is fixed, even though it is air and it is on the fringes and it, there is a rebellious nature to, the sign of Aquarius is fixed energy. So there is a, uh, a level of stability that is not associated with Uranus because Uranus brings uh, radical upheaval um, where it is. So when we say like um, Uranus conjunct Venus, there is a difference between Uranus conjunct Venus and Venus in the sign of Aquarius. And I'm saying that because uh, uh, we typically nowadays with modern astrology, um, with this uh, giving of Uranus, giving of Aquarius to Uranus, as far as rulership is concerned, 
And it's it's not the same, you know, when you if you really uh, pay attention to uh, people who have strong Aquarian energy, even though there is a, a, a love for freedom uh, with within uh, their nature, they're you know they come home, you know they they want to have a, a stable home environment. They um, you know they want to have things that are more uh, solid than what you typically see when you have Uranus Venus um, in challenging aspects. So, you know, there is, there is a, there is a difference, you know, again, Uranus can be very destabilizing and Aquarian energy because it is fixed, even though it's on the fringes and there's isolation associated with it. And there is this different way of uh, seeing and thinking and being and doing there is still uh again, a level of a stability that, that comes along with it. So Venus, the goddess of love, Venus wants, um, she wants peace. She wants harmony. She wants togetherness. She wants diplomacy. She wants kindness. She wants beauty. She wants, um, uh, music and art and, um, uh, harmony. So she rules all of those things. She is at home in the sign of Taurus and she is at home in the sign of Libra and she is exalted in the sign of Pisces. So when Venus brings her, uh, love nature, her loving kindness and all of these things and comes into, uh, the temple of Saturn in the sign of Aquarius, she she takes on the gifts that her host gives her. So Saturn is the host as Venus comes into his house. And so he gives her what she needs to be able to feel comfortable and to operate at her best. So what he has to offer her, um, you know, is uh, a, some isolation, is... Um, uh, a level of restriction is, uh, the, the air nature or the, um, the mental nature that, you know, is necessarily uh, separated from the heart. When we talk about, uh, Saturn's energy, um, there is a, there is a seriousness there is uh, this leadership energy, uh, again, separating from the pack, uh, being on the fringes uh, that comes along with Venus here. So with Venus in Aquarius, you definitely have uh, someone who wants to have freedom, freedom in the way that they move. You know, air is constantly moving and um, air you know, if you try to, uh, hold air, contain air it's going to seep out. I think of a, a mattress, I think of an air mattress and when you blow up the air mattress, you know, if you order an air mattress, they send the little patches to go along with it just in case it gets poked and there's an air leak, you can patch it up, but no matter what you do, that air mattress is going to leak air. It will not hold the air indefinitely because air is always looking for a way out, a way to be free. So with Venus in the sign of Aquarius, there is a need for freedom. There is a need for freedom. There is a, a, a need to help others that comes along uh, with Aquarius. I think of a good uh, um, uh, imagery. There is a good imagery in the star card as it relates to, um, um, Aquarius, because you see in the star card of the tarot, there is one foot on the earth, one foot in the, in the water, which represents the spiritual realm. Um, as the water bearer, you know, when we look to, um, the mythology of Ganymede, which is represented in the star card, Ganymede was taken from earth by Zeus because he was beautiful. He was different. 
um, uh, he was extremely attractive. And so because of that, Zeus wanted that beauty. Uh, so desperately, he took him up to Mount Olympus and made him uh, his cupbearer. So that's where this imagery comes from as it relates to Aquarius, Aquarius being the cupbearer. And so as the cupbearer, they are separated from society, but also serving society at the same time. So Venus here is going to find itself helping other people, uh, serving other people, serving humanity. So there's this great service energy that is a part of Aquarius, but at the same time, there is a separation. There is a, a coldness, a Saturnian coldness that is a part of Aquarius that does not fully connect, you know, um, you know, if you, if you, uh, are around, uh, people who have a lot of Aquarian energy and Venus and Aquarius, you know, um, it's different than water, you know, it's different than how Pisces serves, you know, uh, because they're, you know, when we look at, um, the water signs, there is a need to merge and become one, you know, uh, with another person. Uh, and just by nature, it makes sense because with the water signs, you know, our bodies are 75% water. So with that water energy, you know, it flows and it moves in. So it's able to intuitively know where it needs to go. We're talking like Venus and Pisces. But when we talk Venus in the sign of Aquarius or uh, in Venus in air in, in any in any of the uh, air signs, there is a separation because, you know, the air is, is separated from the body. You know, it is outside of the body. So um, Venus in, in the love nature, you know, uh, oftentimes there is this uh, connection through friendship. Venus in Aquarius wants to connect by way of friendship, but not necessarily becoming one with the person, you know, like we see you know, with Venus and Pisces. And so um, Venus in the sign of Aquarius is uh, one that it, it does love. You know, I, I've heard people say, you know, that Venus in Aquarius does not love. It does love, but it does not love like water. It does not love like Earth. It doesn't even love like Saturn in Capricorn, you know, the Capricornian Venus Saturn's feminine sign because with um, Saturn's feminine sign it's earth it's it's even more receptive so but uh, the difference between Venus and Capricorn and Venus and Aquarius both of Saturn signs is that uh, Venus in Capricorn is um, there can be just more stoicism because we're talking about a cold earth. It's like you put your feet on the ground during winter and it's chilling. And so with that, there is a separation, but there is love that's there. You know, Venus in Capricorn is more like uh, the, the very strict mother that wants the best. You know, there's not a lot of lovey, huggy, touchy feely because the practical things need to be attended to. Well, Venus in Venus in Aquarius uh, is not so much about okay, the practical things need to be attended to, but it is about sharing thoughts and communication. So, so important to uh, Venus in Aquarius. You know, love is shown um, through constant communication and communication uh, on topics and things that are outside of outside of the norm outside of what everyone else uh is doing you know um venus and aquarius can uh experience love you know with um multiple people it just depends but they will have their one partner but they would be more open to you know, um, menage a trois or 
a, a relationship that does not look like the traditional way that a relationship should look. You know, they, you know, this could be a person who is married to someone, but yet they live in the house, you know, up the street. Um, because it's something very different about how the love takes place. You know, it's not going to be the traditional way. It's not going to be what everyone else is doing. It's going to have something about it that is unique, that is on the fringe, that is on the cutting edge of what uh, traditional society is doing. But within that partnership, because it is a fixed nature, um, it is a partnership that typically remains. Again, the fixed nature is there. Friendship, you know, Aquarius, again, is a sign of friendship. So Aquarians will want to have, Venus in Aquarius wants to have um, a, a lover who is a friend. They need a partner who is a friend. You know, that is a huge importance to them. It needs to be this friendship where they could laugh and talk and share um uh, things that you would share with a friend and be a lover and a partner at the same time. But even within that, they they need to have a level of freedom and autonomy to be able to come and go as they please with Venus and Aquarius. They don't want to be boxed in, but it is an energy that will come back home. You know, it goes out and it it needs to go and socialize with other friends and talk to other friends and so forth and then come back home. So that's the type of thing um, that you see with Venus in Aquarius. But there is love. It's just not shown in the traditional way. But there there definitely is um, uh, love and it is um, found in, you know, the unique conversations. And the unique uh, ideas. I think of people who have a love for Star Trek and going to the Trekkie conventions and um, and uh, those sorts of things. I mean, that's probably a terrible example, but it is something that is kind of like out of out of worldly that they could share with their partner that everyone else may not find uh, practical or traditional you know, in any way, but there's something that's very unique about the partnership and the way that they share their interests and their friendship and their love. Okay. So this is what I have for Venus in Aquarius. I thank you so much for listening again. My name is Letitia Hinton uh, with Soul Spread Wisdom. Please like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment. If you uh, are a Venus in Aquarius, or if you know someone with Venus in Aquarius, share what it is that uh, you have experienced, what you know about Venus in Aquarius and uh, how this has shown up in your life and your chart and your friend, um, just to add on to the conversation so that we can continue to learn and grow. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo, Yadhe Vavhe.